Do you often find yourself wondering how many messages and how many connection requests can I send each day to grow my network on LinkedIn? We'll dive deep into each of the limits as well as show you some hidden features inside of LinkedIn that you can use to send more connection requests or more messages than the usual limits. Let's get deeper into it. So LinkedIn is a great platform when it comes to growing your network and showing that you have a big presence on social media that gets you more clients, that gets you more followers and that just raises your profile online so with LinkedIn there are a few limits you can have as many followers as possible there's no limit there but you can only have 30,000 connections and of course there's limits to how fast you can grow this for connection requests you can only send about 100 to 200 connection requests every week and that's the limit that they've put in place I think just about a year ago with respect to follows I think you can follow as many people as you like so they're trying to make it more like Instagram than the usual connection request business to summarize there's a couple of limits one connection request only 100 to 200 a week for the people who are already in your network you can send some follow-up messages while they don't claim to have any limits there but in practice we have not seen people being able to send more than 200 to 300 a day and when it comes to the actual in mails within mails there's obviously limits uh, when you buy sales navigator subscription you get a few credits and you can only send in mails based on the consumption of those credits so these are the three limits that LinkedIn actually puts in. Now let's get into some creative ways to bypass it. First creative way, invite by email. So LinkedIn actually allows you to import your contacts from your Gmail or your Yahoo account into LinkedIn. The way that works is that you go into a particular hidden interface inside of LinkedIn. Once you click on it, it allows you to connect your Gmail or your Yahoo account or your email account in general and sync your contacts to LinkedIn. Now what LinkedIn does is that it figures out which of your contacts are on LinkedIn under which account and you can just send them a connection request directly. So this method actually allows you to find more people on LinkedIn that you might be connected with and helps you get more connections on LinkedIn. This method does not seem to have too many limits. I think you can send about 1000 to 2000 a day using this method. So that's hack number one. Hack number two, use free in mail. Some people on LinkedIn have this gold icon. What that means is when you open their profile, there'll be this green open button. Once you have a list of these profiles that you want to reach out to, you click on it and suddenly you see that you can send them a free message. That's a surprise. The reason that works is that if they are a premium profile, more often than not, like in 90% of the cases, there'll be also an open profile. For open, that means you can send them an in-mail message and that won't consume any credits, right? So that's a hack. And I think you can send about 800 to 1000 of these a month if you want to. So that's another way to get around the limits that LinkedIn puts in. Hack number three, and this is one of my favorite hacks. So if you belong to the same LinkedIn group, or if you're attending the same LinkedIn event, you can actually reach out to those people without sending them a connection request. So let's say like I am a fan of social selling. So I joined the group LinkedIn Social Selling and I can see that I have these many people, right? Who are my potential, you know, customers or potential partners. So what I can do is I can just click on this button and you can see that this guy is a third degree connection, but I'm still able to reach out to him. And then one click of a button, type in the message or something like, hey, notice that you're, you're in the LinkedIn Social Selling group as well. Just curious, are you trying to use LinkedIn to get more clients as simple as that right so suddenly you get into a conversation without actually being connected to that person right so which is a great way to start a business relationship the same goes for events if you find that they're attending an event they're much more likely to be interested in the same topic and you can start a conversation with them about that topic so that's hack number three let's get down to the basics while reaching out on LinkedIn and using these hacks might be a great way to grow your network but nothing beats optimizing your profile and posting great content so that your potential connection feel that hey this is a person that I do want to connect with and you get a lot of inbound connection requests by building up your profile so tip number one optimize your LinkedIn profile we have a very good blog around it I'll link it in the show notes and that will help you understand how to optimize your LinkedIn profile bonus tip number two always send highly personalized messages while connecting for example the LinkedIn group message tip I showed you whenever you personalize your messages you come across as a genuine person and not somebody who spams people always a great way to stand out tip number three whenever you're reaching out always warm up your lead it's never reach out cold right so you can view their profile you can follow them you can like their content before reaching out and this always
always increases chances of you actually connecting with them. And finally, don't go too fast, right? Like if you're trying to break the limits, LinkedIn doesn't like it. And of course, your profile can get banned. Never think of this game as trying to somehow bypass the rules that LinkedIn has put in, but always try to play a game of value, right? We're posting good content as well as, you know, connecting with the right people, with the right means, with the right kind of message to actually catch their attention. Just those are uh, some of the tips we have. If you need more tips, we're always putting out more tips in our blog as well as our YouTube channel. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video.